and welcome to the porch. I'm State Representative Jane Garibay of the 60th District, covering part of Windsor and all of Windsor Locks. Today we're here with a special guest, Paula Pierce of Hosting CT. I've known Paula for many years and she's been on a previous show. Paula was president of the Windsor Chamber of Commerce. She's been a board member of WEF for many years and interacts with many of our nonprofits, helping them and small businesses. Welcome, Paula. Hello, and thank you. I'm so happy to be here again on the porch. Right, does so much more, I know. Um, there's so much more that you do, um, and I've worked with you for so many years, and you've helped so many people, whether in small business, um, you know, nonprofits, and you help larger businesses too, so. Yep. Um, I was wondering, you know, businesses are struggling, you know, COVID's still here. Um, so I want to talk to you because I know you do that as part of hosting CT. How can businesses help themselves through marketing? Oh, gosh, there's so many ways. I mean, we talked off air a minute ago about um, COVID and what the difference is now. How do you approach marketing um, as opposed to how you did six months ago? And it is a little bit different. Um, but really what I've seen most with my clients is um, kind of this surge to get their online presence uh, updated and current and interesting and usable and efficient and effective. Mm -hmm. So that's what people are looking to do, um, trying to keep their small businesses together. Which is probably something we should do anyways in a business, even in good <laughs> times. I know yeah. we spent um, several years ago um, getting, especially Windsor Center businesses, a phone adaptable or what do you call that phone ready so that when you look them up on oh, your phone, mobile, it, yeah, yeah, mobile mobile. yeah. Um, is that still important? Oh God, yes, it's, it's essential. Um, you know what it's like, especially now when people are, um, you know, doing everything from their phone, they're working from home, you know, when they're in their downtime, they're on their phone. So, you know how people are. I know I am on all night. You've got your phone with you. So people are doing all the things they need to do, do errands and things where they used to go out. I know at least right. for me, <laughs> I'm doing my grocery shopping online. I'm doing, you know, I'm getting things from the library online. I'm, everything is online. So if your website isn't really easy to use online, you're going to be in trouble. Right. Because I know restaurants, um, luckily enough, I think in the center, most of them now, are mobile ready mm -hmm. so you can actually go on and order and do and have it waiting for you when you get there right. so it's extremely important and restaurants are great because they have a lot of options if they are if their own website isn't up to speed you know there are a lot of services grubhub and you know doordash and all those things that will kind of do it for them the, the delivery part of it anyway right but a lot of people go out and um, they don't seem to have minded during COVID taking that little drive. Mm -hmm, that's true. People do. It probably gets that. you out. Um, yeah, that's so true. Just, yeah, it's quite interesting. Some people ask, you know, like door knocking, are people afraid? Well, not if you wear your mask and you distance. And people are right. actually happy to be able to share ideas and, you know, what's going on in their lives, et cetera. It is a different time. So what about social media? Social media is um, huge. <laughs> so there's a lot of things to do, you, you know, just keeping up with it for a small business who wants to understand who their audience is and what their audience wants. It's a great place to have communication both ways. So, and I say both ways because some companies will start a social media presence on whatever platform, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and just start posting a few things, you know, once a week, twice a week, whatever but they, they aren't getting a lot of feedback. So right. really the goal is to have a communication, um, a two-way communication. So you want people to be able to contact you through all of these venues and you have to be able to respond quickly. Um, you know, speaking of responding to things, I highly recommend anybody who has a website, business, online or off, um, to get their Google My Business page claimed. So your business is there on Google, whether or not you set it up and you can claim that as a listing. Wow. It's free. Okay. It's, it's important because that's what comes up first when people Google things. Mm -hmm. So if your business is not there, um, you've got to make it, you know, you've got to claim it and you've got to update it. And you can also 
um, hook up your Facebook with your Instagram or vice versa? Is How does that work that you can hook up several platforms so when you post in one, it goes to the others? Yeah, there's all different ways to do it. Facebook and Instagram is the easiest these days because Facebook bought Instagram, I believe, and so they're linked already. Okay. So if you have a Facebook page, you'll see options to link in your Instagram as well. And that saves you, especially as a business, when you're just trying to get the word out there. Mm -hmm. um, that help help that helps a lot. Mm -hmm. What about um, you know? Is do people still advertise offline though, oh, in newspapers mm -hmm. or press releases, which are free in I the local so. newspaper? Yes, I mean I think you have to keep those things in mind. I mean people still print business cards. It's still important because you have to make connections with people um, newspapers you know it's so expensive but sometimes it's the right niche for people a larger companies but if you um, have news you can put it in as a press release and that's not charged I mean it's right. a news announcement of something happening you've added a you know a new menu or you added a CPA service or a new um, online banking right yeah, you have to do. I think press releases are definitely another must do. So, mm -hmm. if you, like you were just saying, new service, new company, new features, new staff, you're honored, you get awards, whatever those things are. You know, right. if you think it might be newsworthy and interesting to some segment of the population, write it up, send it out to all the press contacts. That's not just newspapers, that's radio, TV, online venues. All those things are important. Right. And especially if you're doing something for the community. Mm -hmm. Oh, nonprofit. You know? We'll be doing this all the time, especially I know I the like fundraisers business. and stuff. Yeah, I know I like businesses and I'm attracted to use them, the ones that are involved in the community because they're giving back. So, mm -hmm. yeah, everybody's different. What other tips do you have for us? The other really important quick tip I have for any business is that your best asset is your existing customers. So email marketing is also very, very effective. So use the customer list. I'm not saying sell it, <laughs> but, right. but contact people with relevant information, helpful information, not just um, salesy stuff, something that is going to be of interest to them and that they may pass on to others. And you can get that word just like you do through social media. Right. And people love specials. Um, I know there's quite a few of our restaurants are using it for like family meals or yeah. You know, at night it might be meatloaf and potatoes or whatever for nine ninety nine a person. Some do. Uh, I saw twenty nine. Oh, there goes the train. It'll be hitting you soon. <laughs> um, you know, so they give family specials and are trying to make it more affordable for people um, to, you know, do takeout. Right, and you can do all the specials you want, but if people don't know about it, it's not going to do anybody any good. So you have to find those venues that work for you. Email marketing, social, get it up on your web. All those things are important. It's like Field of Dreams. It's not build it and they will come. You have to build it and then you have to advertise it. <laughs> yeah, I have a friend in this industry that, when I say this industry, you know, social media, search engine marketing, all that stuff. And he says, if you put a, a website up, it's like putting a billboard in the woods. So nobody's going to see it, see it right. unless you get people there somehow. But isn't that where the interaction comes? Is like if you put out um, things that ask for responses, it builds community within your Facebook page. For sure, yeah. That interaction is essential because through that kind of thing, you find out what your customers are interested in, what are their challenges, um, what do they like or dislike about your own products and services. You know, those are things you need. Mm -hmm need to address right and so but so saying that brings to mind people that go on angrily what is the best way to let someone know that you didn't like the meal you got or that the banking hours aren't great or for whatever you have so i first go to the source you know if i don't like something that happened at a restaurant i try to reach the manager besides that what kind it is it can be positive to put out to on their Facebook page, hey, you know, I got my meal and it was really cold. So that then there can be that right. conversation. I think that, you right? know, it gives the business owner a chance to address the concern in a kind of public manner. So as long as the people aren't nasty about it, if people are really nasty, you might just want right. to ignore them or block them. But if it's a, a decent comment that you can address, 
address it physically then and often through social media um, when you answer something like that you should also put in a comment I'm gonna PM you you know private message you with more details or you know invite them to PM you about you know so you can take the conversation offline and address it right and it should be directly to them through there because a lot of people put them out on different mm -hmm. sites but the owner of the restaurant not beyond those sites absolutely not I mean if they're really good they may be monitoring the, for their name through Google Alerts and different things um, but right you can easily miss something like that well and they're so flat out right now working you know all our small businesses you know are giving a hundred percent to stay afloat it was good that they just opened up restaurants to 75 oh, percent of capacity the governor announced yesterday um, so um, that will help. Masks and social distancing still though, it's a little scary. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, we can't forget that at all right now anyways. Um, because with the gradual reopening, hopefully it'll help um, a lot of small businesses. What other tips do There's you have? There's all kinds of things you can do to, to market. I mean, search engine optimization is the big thing online so that you can get more traffic from Google, for example. And there's so many pieces to it, but basically it's about figuring out what keywords people type in to find services like yours. And it's not always what you think. So doing keyword research makes a lot of sense. Find out what the real terms are that people use, not you your own inter industry they, bargain. You want to come that's out first the, when they're switching. That's the that's goal. The goal. <laughs> right. um, so if you're like me and you know me, I can do, you know, basic technology and, you know, social media, whatever, but I'm a small business and, you know, I'm flat out, you know, especially during COVID, I can hire someone like you to help me with this, right? Oh, yeah, we do all kinds of services from website redesign, marketing through email marketing, paid search, um, business citations, search engine optimization, all the different pieces. Um, absolutely, we do. And actually, if people, yeah, because people, I don't, I don't know if I should push my own agenda here, but I have a blog where I do give marketing tips for free if people are looking for information and ideas on how to market their business. So they can find those things blog? on my, it's hosting. How do I get to your blog? Yeah, it's hostingct.com and you'll see um, a little help menu at the top and you'll see tips and tricks and things there. Right. Well, I invited you to the show today to because I know you're good at what you do. I've worked with you for what, 20 years now? Yes, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and many different capacities. So, you know, it is, and that's a free service. They're not getting charged, so they can go to Hosting CT and click on that to, to get some ideas. You can always also have a conversation because I know you, depending what you provide, there's different rates, et cetera. So you can work with budgets, um, et cetera. Uh, it's just so important, especially for services of any kind, whether it's restaurant, banking, whatever. I see, especially with all the younger people um, in town, everything's on their phone, everything. And they wanna go and they wanna find it and they want it easy. And even myself, if I have to struggle, I'm oh, done. You want it? It's got to be so easy and quick and, and intuitive to use on the phone. I have a friend who I was just talking to about this because she's been trying to maintain her Facebook page, her business Facebook page, using only her phone. And sometimes there are challenges with that. And so for business people, well, I think it's a little harder to do that. They really should get on a desktop or a laptop or something once in a while <laughs> to make sure that things are working the way they need them to. And it's actually, for me, in a lot of cases, it's easier and quicker to get things done that way. Well, even on my personal Facebook page, it's easier to do on my laptop than on my phone. Yeah, you can just you know, there's some challenges. Things. Yeah. You know, and if you're trying to answer all your emails on your phone, that gets a little trying to you know yeah, so you need both guys, but oh definitely i know i do right but it is becoming you know either an ipad or a phone um people are doing because you're waiting at the doctor's office or you're you know whatever where you're held up and you have some free time you try to get in there because people expect you to answer emails right away or a text or 
you know, and there's times where I'm out for like a couple hours and people get frustrated. But if you're in a meeting, you can't oh, be no. No. doing that. That's like really poor form. So no, I left my phone the other day. I couldn't believe it. I never do that. That's why I didn't answer you right away. It was a couple nights ago. I'm like, oh my God, I went out and I don't yeah. have my phone. I thought the world was ending. <laughs> I know, but it doesn't end. But then people are like, like two Hello, hours, Hello. really. I, mean, <laughs> I know, I know. I've done that a couple of times, and you feel like you, yeah, you went out dressed you or something, right you know. <laughs> I know. So it is a new world. Um, so if people want to reach you, they can go to um, www.hostingct.com, right? right? Um, and have a conversation or if you already have a webmaster or whatever you can see if they do because some only do websites and others are like you that are more branched out and you have um staff that helps with some of the things that are specialized yeah, in we different can do areas custom programming as needed we've got a lot of clients that have special needs and we work with them on those things as well well that's great any last comments Keep marketing it's important don't shut yourself off from your customers and prospects right absolutely well i want to thank you for coming on the porch today it's been great having you and i want to thank the public for tuning in and we'll see you next week on the porch and as always thank you to howard and win tv thank you i enjoyed being here